Good night, little Timmy. Can I have a story before I go to bed? Of course, your book's right there by the bed if you want it. Good night. Oh, can't you read it for me, Grandad? Oh. Please. Oh, go on then. Once upon a time, there were three bears. What do they look like? No, oh, they were just bears, fairly anonymous. Grandad. A daddy bear, a mummy bear, a baby pair. Bear, not pear. Grandad, this is all wrong. Who's reading this, you or me? <sighs> the daddy bear had big ears, big belly, big moustache. Not like that. No, 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 no. Yes, that's it. Anyway, they went for... And the others? <sighs> All right, the wife was okay, a bit past it, not too bad, a bit hairy as bears go, but it didn't bother him. The baby was like you, lovable, cute, adorable, and fat, was just like you, and they all lived in a big cave by the side of the M3 near Leeds. So they all went for a walk one day, and the day turned to night, and before they knew it, they'd walked the whole length of the motorway and ended up in London. They went straight to famous landmarks, and they got on a bus, but they were kicked off, and they got to Ballroom Wood because the conductor knew what bears do in the woods. So the baby bear enthusiastically dragged them around London and dragged and dragged and he dragged so much that he stretched the mummy bear's arm until it went all floppy but she didn't mind because she wasn't much of a sinker being a woman. And then the daddy bear got hungry and he started to cry and see the baby bear but they soon found a man with a big square head who was selling old London porridge from his store by the Thames and said God blow me governor. Don't worry. I think I can stop your crying. Apples and pears and all that. So Mr. Square gave them some bowls of porridge, which was perfect temperature. They all ate it all up, and even the woman who was really worried about her figure and that, and the daddy bear said, Thanks, Squire, and the man said, It's pronounced square. God blow me. Lord love a duck. And after that, they had a quick snooze. They went on to London Eye, but they couldn't go as it was broken. The daddy and the baby started crying again because they really wanted to get on it. And the man who owned the eye started crying because it was his and it was broken. But they had an idea when they saw the big bolt that had fallen out. And they ran off to get the man with the porridge and shoved his head in the gap and fixed it. Then they went on the wheel and saw lots of things in London from up there. And when they got down again, so it was time for them to go home. And the bears got in a cab and the cabby asked, where to love? And mummy bear waved towards Leed and so he drove off. And the press saw the big black car with a woman in it with a wavy floppy arm. And they thought it was the Queen, so they all took pictures. The next morning they got home and saw the pictures all over the paper of themselves. And suddenly they were all famous. And then something happened to celebrity no one had heard of. And it was a headline the next day, so they weren't famous for long. But they framed the paper and mummy was proud of it. And daddy would often threaten to burn it if she didn't make his dinner and baby grew up to be a bear. The end. Good night to me.